Hello viewers. So today's video is going to be about this uh, Kohler sink that we got at Costco some time back. We just installed it yesterday. So you will see the issue. It's really a disrupted stream. Kind of like, you know, a bad shower head. First, we are going to unscrew this. And a lot of debris for the actual flow problem may reside right there in that screen, but I don't see any. So I was thinking it's something else inside, probably with the aerator. I found one or two posts that talk about the aerator having two flat spots that you should be able to get one of these wrenches on and then unscrew this unit to get to this aerator. Um, that may be the case for you. Uh, for ours, I can feel here there is no indention for uh, any wrenches. So what I do see is, is these four small holes, which is probably for some special tool. And beans, I don't have a special Kohler tool, and I don't think any came with this unit. I put the smallest Allen wrench in that I have. One here too, and then took this, held this, and when it popped out, let's see if we can do this. Well, it's starting to come out. So I might have this open enough. There we go. See a little tab there. See a screen here. Wow, that's quite a unit. So I don't see really anything other than water in there. But I'll flush this and uh, we'll see if it makes it any better. So with this apart, you can see that um, the aerator itself, uh, let's see here, let me try to do this one handed here now that this cap off, you'll have a small metal screen there. Okay, so I'm going to throw that back together. I did want to point out when you're reassembling this, um, you got to be, I, I didn't show it on camera here, but there's a tab that faces up that has a spot. There's two spots, one that's like the perfect size and then one that's like a bigger opening. So there's a plastic black tab that's got to go into the smaller, I think, only if this works. If it doesn't work, maybe it belongs in the other side. So uh, this is probably worth mentioning. If you were to just try to screw this on like I just did it you you encounter resistance right here and it's probably because this needs to be pushed in and then tighten this collar down that might save you from stripping this out I'm not sure so let's see what we get now yeah, it's still about the same um, that's the same Get this weird. Kind of get this, you know, bad shower head look to it. And I'm not real happy with the results from this. Okay, so being said didn't work out, I'm going to take this back apart and see if removing the blue, what, what I think to be a pressure reducer or a flow reducer of some sort, is causing that uh, issue. And I made a tool out of a piece of wood and a couple screws, measured it right out at, um, for this one, one and three quarter, just a bit over one and three quarter, where the tips are sticking out. I, let's see if this, I know it fits because I just tried it.
I'm gonna take try to take this off, this blue piece, and see what happens. We'll test the flow then. Crazy thin screen. You can see it in the light, just a ton of tiny holes. Okay, got that. So I was able to take a knife and just kind of get under the edge, be real careful, and pick that out. Okay. Earlier I mentioned now you can see it. There's a smaller groove there and a bigger groove. I'm going to put the tab in that smaller groove. I have to do this off camera because it's hard to see. Actually, here. Chase a dream you think is too far out of reach. Will it snow? It's how far it is to go below. What I didn't see, I guess I'll never know. How can the limit out here be only 45 and a lot that I'll turn 50 overnight? Will it snow? It's how far it is to go below. One more. All right. Now let's go try it here. Okay. Let's hope for the best. Pretty good with that button push. It's not bad. Might have to tighten it up a little bit more. Well, let me see here. Would that be the reason why it's just not tight enough? Maybe that was the reason why before. I never thought to check the tent, the the uh, torque of that plastic piece, but yeah, I mean it's not bad. I think I'll look into some other ones, some other aerators to put in there, or maybe call Kohler and just ask him um, if this is an issue or if this is normal yeah if it's normal or if it's uh, not typical anyway so if you um, swung at this before and were successful at, fix, at fixing this uh, maybe leave some advice in the comments below uh, but uh, hopefully uh, for all the others that this does work for them and they needed to know this information uh, I hope it helped as always, if you want to support this channel, please search out my original music on all major music platforms by searching Scott Knox. 